first at six, getting answers from Axel Royal. That's the plant in West Tulsa where yesterday's massive petroleum fire broke out. Today, 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani hears exclusively from the company CEO and the Tulsa plant manager about what happened and what will happen for the oils and greasing site. So Chris Jordanson acquired Royal Manufacturing's Tulsa site, where I'm standing, back in 2018. It's now Axel's base of American operations. Its plant manager tells me there's never been an incident this large, but there's still much to learn about what all happened here Tuesday. Part of the cleaning up exercise. That's the voice of Johan Sturrison. He's CEO of the Swedish-based Axel Group, but was coincidentally in Tulsa for a conference at the time of Tuesday's fire around 10 a.m. Or a lucky coincidence, I would say, in this respect. It's nice to be on location when something happens because you can help to assess and direct the situation. Something sparked Axel's oil blending in storage tanks to unleash two-story flames and solid black smoke seen from miles away. What exactly that was is to be determined. We're doing an assessment of the damages to be able to understand what steps we need to take to resume operation as quickly as possible. How many people do you have employed here on an average day then? Uh, we've got approximately 70 employees that work here every day. Bill Selfridge was also offsite at the time of the three hour blaze. He says Tuesday was by far the largest incident to ever occur here. He credits Tulsa Fire Department and the Holly Refinery Fire Division for lending a helping hand to limit the damage. We'll take our learnings once we assess what, you know, what, what the causes were and uh, make things better. Safety is advertised well outside these buildings. It helps that nobody was injured Tuesday, but the work and job security for workers won't be compromised the men say it's important that we uh, we take care of our people and get back in production and operating you know, as quickly as we can this is a bump in the road a significant bump in the road but we stay on the road and we will continue and get back on track I couldn't get permission to go inside the men tell me that authorities still need the chance to assess everything first but Selfridge did tell me the fire mainly affected only two of the close to a hundred tanks they have in West Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.